Let's do our part to help birds thrive. We can make our yards come alive. Hi there, my name is Brooke. Welcome to my homegrown national park. Do you hear that? That sounds like an Oriole. I learned something cool recently. Orioles and hummingbirds are pollinators, just like bees. One day I was looking at a patch of flowers in my backyard. I saw bees buzzing around like I always do, but this time I also saw a hummingbird poking its beak into the flowers. I learned that even though people usually only think about bees as pollinators, there are about 2,000 species of birds in the world that help bees with pollination too. But let me back up. What is pollination and why is it so important? Well, it's an important part of the process of new plant growth. See the dust on that bee? That is pollen. In order for there to be new seeds to grow new plants, plants and flowers need to trade pollen with each other. When that pollen moves from plant to plant, it's called pollination. The insects and animals that carry the pollen from one plant to another are called pollinators, and plants need them to survive. Bees are pollinators, butterflies are pollinators, and birds are pollinators too. But how do birds help with pollination? When birds, like our friends the orioles and hummingbirds, stick their beak into flowers for nectar, pollen gets stuck to their beaks, heads, and faces. When they visit the next flower, the pollen resting on their beak and feathers travels with them. Then the pollen falls off and transfers to that new flower. Hummingbirds like flowers shaped like tubes so they can use their long beaks to get nectar. There are lots of different flowers that look like this. Some examples are trumpet honeysuckle and scarlet gilia. Birds are most likely to help pollinate flowers and plants with bright, bold blooms filled with sweet nectar. But even though red flowers are their favorite, birds need to eat all kinds of plants to stay healthy, which means they visit lots of different plants spreading pollen everywhere they go. We can help these bird pollinators. We can plant flowers with bright petals to help get a bird's attention. We planted flowers called aster and trumpet creeper vine to attract hummingbirds. I learned so much by exploring and asking questions. I love discovering how birds help our plants and flowers grow. The next time I go shopping with my parents for plants, I'm going to look for native species to plant in my backyard to attract bees, birds, and butterflies. When we bought this house, this backyard was only grass. We made the decision to transform our yard by planting native flowers, shrubs, and trees. And voila, we created our own homegrown national park. And you can do it too. Thanks for listening. See you next time. Birds will make your world go around, filling the air with beautiful sounds, picking up seeds, putting them Let's restore 20 million acres of nature's habitats. Let's do a part to help birds thrive. We can make our yards come alive. Bird baths, feeders, native plants too. There are so many things that we can